What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Rod Vault 2 roof mounted fly rod carrier. So, if you're like me and you don't like breaking down your fly rods every single time you're going on a trip, well, this is gonna solve that issue. We can keep all of our rods up and in there and assemble so when we get to the spot, we can just take them out and start fishing right away. So let's just go ahead and get into some specs. Most of the construction of the rod carrier is gonna be of some hard plastic, and we're gonna have some anodized aluminum poles in there as well. So it's gonna resist against rust and corrosion over time. Definitely not gonna be for your saltwater rods just because it's not a fly rod, they're not really gonna fit that well. What it does fit really well is pretty much any bar that you may have. The mounting hardware, I really like it. One, we can actually end up locking these of course which is fantastic but also if you have thick bars like we do here we have two sets of hardware that we can choose from to fit the thick bars and also the skinnier bars you may have whether you're using an oem roof rack a aftermarket roof rack you have aero bars square bars round bars whatever it may be this thing is going to clamp around it and giving it a nice and secure fit and the nice thing about this is too we got keys so we can lock this to the rails, but also we can lock our rods in there. So just using the key is gonna lock and unlock it. But if you unlock it like I did just now, press this, opens up, and then all of your rods are gonna be in there. So we have plenty of room for all of our rods, nice little dividers to kind of keep them separate. And the cool thing that they threw in too is this little rubber piece here. It's got a magnet on the end. So whenever we're done, kind of just put that in there. Doesn't do a whole lot for these rods, just because they're not huge, but we want to make sure that the diameter of the reel itself isn't going to be any more than four and a quarter inches. But this is going to be a nice hardened plastic, has a good hinge on it, and it stays up nice and upright whenever we're taking out our rods. So as you can see, fully assembled rod, and I am fully ready to fish. So I really like that. And it is a good height too. It all just depends on what car you may be installing it on. But the nice thing about it is on the inside of the little rod there, we are gonna have a little coating on the inside. So you don't have to worry about it scratching your rods up or anything like that. It's a polypropylene coating, which is just gonna help keep your rods nice and pretty. I usually like to take care of my rods and this is doing a great job of it. As far as dimensions go, both the two and the four rod version are gonna have a total length of 128 inches. But with the two, we're gonna have a little bit different measurements here. So from the very top of the hinge all the way down to the bottom, it's gonna be around eight inches and it is going to be about seven and three quarter inches wide here. Both the two and the four are gonna have the same exact adjustments. So if you notice the black part that wraps around our metal bar here, that is gonna be able to go along that complete bar. So we can figure out exactly where we need it to mount down. For us, what we had to do is kind of max it out on this end because we do need to have a mount on this side of this bracket and on this side of that bracket. So. Just be mindful of that. We maxed it out all the way back, but we're having a little bit of issues with our back hatch. This is an 01 Tahoe, so it all just depends on one, how high your bars are, and two, how big your hatch is. But we actually aren't having a whole lot of issues, but it's still hitting a little bit, and that's pretty much as good as we can get it. So just Keep that in mind whenever we're setting it up. Always open up that back hatch before we completely latch this thing down. So pretty much all we really need to do now is show you guys how to install it. First things first, we wanna get it up and onto our roof. I did use an extra set of hands. It's not too heavy, it's just a little awkward to carry. So next thing we need to do is either adjust our bars or adjust the mounting points here. We can slide those throughout the whole entire tube. So we have them adjusted to where they fit perfectly on our bars here. So now we can go ahead and put our mounting hardware up. So we get two different kinds of bolts. Okay, so one is gonna be a little bit shorter than this. It's gonna be completely threaded. And then there's this one. We're using these just because the bars we're using here are kind of thick, about an inch and a half thick. 
So this bolt is going to be the best. So depending on what kind of roof rack you guys are working with, we have the hardware to meet the skinny ones and the thick ones. So what I usually do is kind of thread it on with my hand on both sides. And I'm going to do that on all of our different mounts. And then I usually come back here through with a tool and tighten them all down at the same exact time. So that is what I'm going to do. One thing I really like about the tool that they give, it's plenty long, so we don't really have to mess with anything down here. I can just put it through the gap up top. Let's tighten everything down, which is awesome. So once we get both sides done, pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna give it, give it a good shake, make sure that foot is nice and on there. I might use the bigger section here just to give the final little torque down. But after that, I think we're pretty much good. One thing I would add, it does not come with the kit, is once we're done, we kind of just slide these over, but there's a little hole right here. And what we could do with that is we could put a little padlock on there just to kind of lock our nice, neat little carrier up onto our bars so we don't really have to worry about it running off on us. Well, everyone, that just about does it for a look at the Thule Rod Vault roof-mounted fly rod carrier, and I'm Adam with U-Trailer. E